this data set came from a class where I have collected the student taking time. So how much time a student take uh, to complete the exam. Now the exam was uh, in uh, two hours exam. So there are three exams. So each of these students um, were allowed to take two hours to complete their exam. And then I collected their time. So this is how the data was collected. And then I created the control chart, X bar R control chart looks like this most of the data points are out of control so in that case when what that means is the within variability is very very low then we go for the individual chart uh, based on um, individualistic characteristics so this is an individual moving range chart uh, where now I have most of the data points within control limits however if you for the same data set I have created a couple of more data set with um, highly homogeneous unit. Let's say you get a student group where they don't have any within uh, uh, much, they have very high within variation. So the control limits is going to be very wide. Um, uh, same thing, I created another data set, moderate um, within variation. In that case, the control limit is a little bit narrower here. This is the upper control, lower control. And then when they are very non-homogeneous between students, and then um, they are very highly consistent within. So their within variability is very low. So this uh, control limit is very narrower. So how is the, so the within variation defines the control limit. If it's very high within variation, you can see this data point. This student took 120 minutes to complete first exam, 77 minutes to complete second exam, 62 minutes to complete the third exam. So this, this is not really that consistent within. Therefore, these uh, uh, control lines are very wide. And then this uh, moderate one is narrower still most of the data points are within the control lines um, now this one most of them are out of control so meaning that they have very low within variation so uh, wh when do we know how low is a too low within variation when should we go for that individual moving range chart so first you do the control chart if you see most of the data point going out of control then that indicates that within variation is very low that makes the control lines narrower so then you go for this individual chart now if it doesn't go if it doesn't make that much difference even though you know that this is a student data don't just jump into creating a moving range chart because this is nice is falling within the control line so we are good here we don't need to go for individual chart and if you go for very highly non-homogeneous even though you know that this came from a, a situation where you might think that individual chart might be appropriate but don't just go jump into that first create the R control chart see how it looks if you see most of the data points within the control limit it's just the control lines are wider so then it's good you don't really need to do moving range chart for that now same for the moderate variation most of the data points are falling within the control line so you don't have to do this one however if you see most of them are out of control that indicates that you have a very low within variation which making these control lines narrower then you should go for this individual charts